Hey, yo together and very welcome to the Stack of Two Crazy Replays today with the TVP on Coda Letter Edition. As you have spawning in the left top position, it's the Blue Protoss barcode. And he's playing against me, the Red Terran spawning in the right bottom position, Alex Sasher. And as you can see, there we go, sneaky little bastard probe moving out for some proxy pylons. But where? Oh, next to my command center. Oh, no! You, you know what that means. I can tell you, it's not a proxy tempest. That's all I say to that. And there we go. Probe high. <laughs> Let's build a pylon. And annoy this SCV like a crazy little. <laughs> Be super annoying. And there we go. I have to pull immediately all the SCVs. And be annoying. Yep, yep, yep. So, four SCVs for a pylon. You have to pull six SCVs to kill a gateway immediately if it started. So, if a gateway starts like that, pull six SCVs and you can kill it before it finishes. That works. Um, behind that, he's probing like a madman. And that's, that's a problem with that. Um, I don't know if he's really committing to it or not. But yeah, there you go. He's just super annoying. It's, it's limiting my income and it's super strong. It takes almost no skill and effort to execute this build uh, the barcode is doing here. And yeah, it's just super annoying. But it's quite equal, as you can see. Uh, in probe count, uh, his gateway is starting at home now. He has the barracks starting, so... I defended that, he abandoned his plans, and he lost his probe. So, quite a good start for me, I would say. And there's the refinery starting. He got the pylon. So he sees what's going on, and... Oh god. There's the second probe moving out. Why is he doing that? Why? And behind that we see double gas. So this guy doesn't want to play macro whatsoever. He wants to go full cheese mode. Uh, he wants all the chatter. Yep. And the cumber and all the other cheese you can imagine so much cheese. What is he doing with this probe? I wonder. Uh, he saturated the gases, which is nice. He still got the pylon, but no cannons or anything like that. So, what is he doing? What is this probe doing? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! <laughs> this guy! Uh, okay, I have to give credit to him. He's a, he's a cheesy little, you know, but that was... I wouldn't say it's worth it, to be honest, to send out a probe just for that, but at least he's having fun. That was <laughs> that was really cool. uh, cute and cool. But we have an engineering bay, but with the proxy pylon, I have to say, it looks like he's not impressed whatsoever. He doesn't want to, and I let it finish. Oh, are you serious? But yeah. Uh, sure, why not? Because I need missile turrets. It could be Oracle. You don't know. Did I see the double gas? Yes. So that's that. And behind that we see uh, just the warp gate technology. And of course the Stargate. There you go. So my Jedi Zen is helping me out again. Going for the turret and the evil block because why not? Uh, it's, it's good. Be a little bit annoying against that salad. Uh, behind that bunker, because why not? So I'm still on one base against one base proto, so it's equal. But I got the mules, I got the defender's advantage, and I might be able to throw down a command center soon myself. Uh, and then I'm really far ahead, I would say. If I can defend the aggression which is coming. For now, the Reaper really got micro, dealing a lot of damage towards the salad. Mm, the Stargate will finish soon. We might see Oracle or Void Ray, we will see. Uh, two more gateways, typical stuff there, and there we go, command center. And yeah, you can't attack into that, no way. Ah, try to deal a little bit of damage there to this mothership. Ah, time warp, not dealing anything there. Oh, all that energy. Ah, and he loses the salad. Oh, you saw the, the micro on the bunker? That was so nice. But yeah, we see void rays, and that turret. Not gonna finish, does it? Nope, not quite yet. 
Ah, uh, be really annoying. But his mothership core is so low. The tour almost finished there. Almost. And I might lose a marine there. Nope, not quite yet. So Widow Mines and the Barracks with the stuff there. So I got a high ground advantage for now. Uh, yep. Another pylon. He doesn't want to be supply blocked. He's going for the Void Race and I guess he will soon uh, produce some Stalker and maybe a Sentry. There we go, Sentry as well. Just to block the repair on the bunker. Very nice. But he's full all in. So if I defend without losing too much, then I'm in a really good spot. Oh, the Reaper! That's very important. Scouting for, proc for, for hidden bases. And I might be able to, to sneak in the Reaper into the main base and kill one or two probes to even limit his income even more. That would be really nice. Could be the case here, because why not? I could also force a Stalker warp in back home, which would limit his uh, damage output in the upcoming attack, because at some point he has to commit. The problem for me is I just have one bunker, and that's busted easily. He also triggered the Widowman with the Pro, which is really smart. There we go, Reaper. Being annoying. But he goes in. There is no repair. The turret will fall after the bunker. The Reaper still dealing damage. Pulling all the SCVs. Uh, oh, good focus fire with the Marines on the Void Race. Reaper still dealing damage. And yeah, there are just too many Marines, I would say, to deal with that. Sure. He killed a lot of SCVs, but in the end, I would say it's just enough for me to defend. Especially with the Medivac, which was not target fired by the Void Ray. Uh, by the Void Ray. Uh, he killed the Reaper, I guess? Yep. But he lost a lot of probes as well. Mm, yeah. Warping in units, shooting at those, which is okay. Ah, uh, there we go. GG. That's how you defend stupid stuff. That's how you do it. And I would like to know if, if you think, because I think I... And you will see it later on if the Grandmaster replays are coming. I am the opinion that I have evolved as a player a lot. For, if, if, I, if I would watch a replay or, or a video of myself like a half a year ago, and I would watch that now, how I play with the eBay blog and the knowledge I uh, obtained and stuff like that and why I'm doing stuff. I would say I really evolved as a player. Uh, and that's really awesome for me. So let me know what you think about later on if you see the Grandmaster replays you will see it with the drops and such like that so and the multitasking and the basic idea behind for example TVC, why do I stuff I do, when, why. The big question is almost, uh, almost every time why are pro players doing what they do and yeah that's that's that so that was a short replay thank you for watching hope you enjoyed as always i wish you a very nice day and